Thank you, and it's, it's great to be here. I'm only going to say one thing about the Maryland Department of Transportation, and that's the fact that uh, for nine years now, 100% uh, of the capital projects for that Department of Transportation have had to have gone through a smart growth consistency test before they can get in the capital program. So it can be done. Okay, uh, is anybody here from Berks County? All right. Then uh, Berks County, then you know East Penn Manufacturing, right? I just came from there. For the, uh, for the benefit of the rest of you, uh, East Penn Manufacturing is a battery manufacturer. Uh, why does this matter? Uh, it's, they're a, recip a recipient of stimulus dollars, of recovery dollars, uh, $32.5 million. With that, East Penn Manufacturing is hiring over 200 people uh, in building batteries for hybrid vehicles. They're doing this in a facility that's surrounded by cow pastures, that recycles every drop of wastewater and water, uh, and that is working on solar loading docks. So I, I mention that because there's a lot of dimensions to sustainability, but there are some common threads here. President Obama, Vice President Biden, through the Recovery Act, are very committed not just to getting people back to work, but to building a better future, building the kind of hybrid batteries that build us a better transportation system. And not coincidentally, these are American jobs. Right now, the U.S. has 2% of the world's hybrid battery market. Because of the investments from the Recovery Act, we're going to have 20% in three and a half years. So again, this is not by, by accident. Uh, but that's not why I'm here today. I was just very excited to have, uh, have been there. Um, thank you all, first and foremost, for getting together today. It's, uh, I'm delighted uh, to be here. I'm delighted to see the commitment from throughout the Commonwealth to build one future together. And uh, I bring you first Secretary Ray LaHood's uh, regards and his regrets that he couldn't be here. Um, but it is, uh, uh, I think, especially important that on a hot summer day you have decided to come together, plan together, and build your future together, because that is what we're trying to do and what we're trying to enable in every corner of this country. Uh, the the uh, um, work that we're doing uh, in the Department of Transportation is a lot different uh, than the way it's uh, operated in the past. As Secretary LaHood likes to say, this is not your father's DOT. Um, we recognize, first of all, the transportation is a means to an end. It is not an end in itself. If we do this right, transportation is an enabler for quality of life, for livability, for economic development, for whatever your goals are for your community. And that's the spirit uh, in which we, we're here today. Uh, from President Obama on down, we're all committed to doing the heavy lifting, the reimagining, the rebuilding uh, of our transportation infrastructure that will truly serve people. And uh, let me give you a couple of examples of how we're doing it differently. A couple of years ago, uh, IBM was searching for a new place to, uh, to locate a corporate campus. Now, they can, IBM can go anywhere they want in the country. They visited Dubuque, Iowa. That's a town of 65,000 people. But they were quickly taken with Dubuque's community plan for refurbishing its old mill district downtown, bringing in restaurants, retail, apartments, and transit nearby, and building a truly 24-hour mixed-use quality community. Uh, IBM recognized that that was exactly the kind of environment they needed to attract the young, talented professionals that they need. These are professionals that can live anywhere. So our role in that was to provide funding for construction of a street network, bicycle and pedestrian routes throughout this rebuilt uh, and re-engineered community to give an old river town a new beginning. I, I mention that as an example because think of all the similar examples throughout Pennsylvania where that could apply. Uh, at the Department of Transportation, livability uh, is a key part of who we are and what we do. It's not just in, Dubu in Dubuque. Uh, livability means our communities are economically competitive, affordable, and people have choices about how they get to work. It means that the infrastructure, uh, whether it's road, rail, sea, or air, is safe, functional, and in a state of good repair. It, it also means, in a common sense definition, that our children can walk or bike to school, that veterans and seniors can get to a doctor's appointment without driving, 
It means that families can decide to live in interesting places with green space, walking, cycling paths nearby. It means a balanced transportation system. It means, it means that we assure a future in which businesses are located close to housing, a future in which economic development, housing, and transportation planning are all interconnected. So transportation policy, ladies and gentlemen, isn't about rubber tires and steel wheels. It's, how, it's about how a student gets from a neighborhood with safe streets to a school that prepares her to collaborate and compete in the global economy. It's how that student's parents find an affordable home with a reasonable commute to a good job that pays the bills. That's our mission statement. Now, to make this vision for livable communities a reality, uh, we need to change the way we do business. And for one thing, communities need to work as common regions rather than separate planning organizations. And if you leave with one thought today, please make it this. We can help those who help themselves. Now is the time for you to get your act together. Now is the time to come together in common purpose to build a better commonwealth. We will be able to help you with that. Uh, now is the time to decide whether our economies grow or contract, whether congestion gets worse uh, or less, whether climate change worsens or slows. All of these things are dependent on us working together. And for the Obama administration, uh, our Department of Transportation joining with HUD and EPA and our other partners, we're tearing down the barriers within uh, our agencies and the, the barriers that separate our agencies from each other.